Hey guys and welcome back. This is going to be game number four between White Ra and HD Gamer. So, <laughs> uh, I'm actually in the wrong spot right now. Um, yes, my new name is HD Gamer by the way guys. It's just my alias for games that I play. Not going to be my real actual alias. But of course, it is going to be White Ra versus TLO game number four. And so White Ra has agreed to concede that last match due to disconnect. Um, a little bit unfortunate, but I think that TLO had a slight minuscule advantage in that game because he had that gold expansion up, and so I think he had a little bit better income. But his harvester count, I think they were about even. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and move on to game number four. It is going to be Metalopolis, and TLO once again choosing to play as Zerg. And so, inspired by his success in the last game, um, no doubt with a little bit of divine intervention from the inter interwebs themselves, has decided to play Zerg once again. And so, they are going to be playing here on Metalopolis, which is a Terran homeworld. Uh, and so, it's going to be two alien species duking it out, Protoss versus Zerg. And uh, I'm actually uh, telling the Russian commentators, because this is broadcasting live right now, I'm just telling them I could have commentated in English live um, on their stream if they wanted. I actually just got called into this kind of last minute. TLO messaged me and said, hey, man, uh, I'm going to be playing against White Run, a best of seven. You want to join up? And I was like, sure, man, of course I want to join up. Are you kidding me? This is going to be like the rematch of the century. Um, uh, just a little bit tarnished because White Red did disconnect in the last battle. But um, anyways, it is going to be here on Metalopolis. Both of them has actually spawned in the close positions. And so we're likely going to be seeing some early aggression from both players here, um, especially the Zerg. I think TLO is going to be inclined to get speedlings early on and try to do some pressure. Going to try to run up that ramp possibly. And so we'll see. I, I actually haven't seen too much Zerg versus Protoss in these kind of positions before. But I'm assuming TLO is going to be able to get some early aggression on. And of course, um, it's kind of tough to actually hold on to your natural expansion. And really, uh, the game is probably going to end up being relatively short instead of macro oriented because it's just so hard to secure a third base when you're right in your face of your opponent in these positions. So here we go, we do have a spawning pool going down relatively early for TLO once again right there at 12 I believe. And White Rug gonna be getting his probe up into the Zerg main to see exactly what is going on. Gonna start hovering over that creep and nothing too interesting thus far for TLO. White Rug is getting a relatively fast gas. He uh, He's actually getting an extractor or an assimilator right away. And uh, players and the spectators are actually asking um, who had the advantage? So I think I think TLO had the slight advantage here. Anyways, uh, back at White Res base, he does have that relatively fast assimilator up. So we do have a cybernetics core following right afterwards. And could we be seeing some blink stalker action or some kind of fast colossus action? Who knows? The the, the possibilities are endless. For a Protoss player, in uh, when they get that fast gas right after the Cybernetics Court, even possibly a Void Ray or Phoenix. Phoenix Void Ray is actually extremely powerful, or even Mass Phoenix, extremely good as well. And here we go. We do have a handful of Zerglings being produced by by TLO. So, like I said, he is going to be looking to do some early aggression right up into White Rose base. But the Zealot comes out just in time. Holy crap! Talk about the luck of timing. TLO, oh man, just got denied. My goodness, <laughs> the Zealot there is like, you shall not pass. And the Zerglings there are just like, okay, we'll chill here on the ramp. And one Zergling actually getting a little feisty, gonna attack this gateway. But uh, White of course, not going. He, basically, TLO is trying to lure the Zergling out. And look at this, TLO is getting a gold fast expansion. Holy crap, that is insane. But what I wanted to say is TLO is trying to lure that Zealot out. Zealot, of course, is not going to move out of position because that would be suicide. But there comes the Stalker to ward away those Zerglings. But wow, TLO is getting the gold straight up. And White Ra, typically, you just don't check out that center gold expansion. Sometimes you go for the watchtowers first. But at this point in the game, White Ra has no idea 
He's only scouted the natural. He does not see a natural fast expansion going up. So he's probably assuming that TLO is going to be going some kind of mass speedling tech. And yeah, there, there's a speed being researched anyways. But White Rat has no idea that there's a fast expansion at the gold. He's probably assuming fast speedlings. And there is a robotics facility warping in right away. So I would not be surprised to see an observer. Uh, no, we're seeing a robotics support bay going up. So White Rat really assuming there's going to be mass speedling. Has, it's just going to go straight for one base colossus not quite as insane as one base mothership but my goodness one base colossus white has no idea that there's about eight drones saturating the gold right now there we go he finally sees the gold with that scouting probe really showing the importance of scouting in starcraft 2 or even in any starcraft any rts game you gotta scout 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 so important to not be in the dark and right now uh white run knows that there is a gold so he knows he needs to make something happen soon or he's just gonna be falling behind so badly against the zerg tlo is gonna start to secure this economic advantage and really power his way forward and i would not be surprised to see him get that layer up possibly go for mutilus but um i don't think he's going to be going mass speedling because i think he's seen the robotic support bay i might be wrong though and here we go the probe is gonna not get up that ramp it is going to be deflected by those zerglings tlo is actually surprisingly producing a lot of zerglings there and back up on the income tab you guys can see both players income uh tlo actually ahead even though he has the same amount of harvesters and that's because he has that gold expansion uh white uh, throwing down two more gateways he does have a Colossus on the way in that robotics bay. So he's going to be getting Colossus into 3 gate. Uh, very interesting build indeed. And Tilo is still on one gas, finally getting that second gas up and running. So really, I don't think TLO is going to be getting Lair. I think he is going to be massing Speedling right now. He has quite a few on the map. And my goodness, I just don't think this is going to work against Colossus. This is like the absolute wrong unit to get against Colossus. Unless you can surround the Colossus quickly. Um, I just don't think it's going to happen. Here we go. White is going to move out straight for that gold. He knows he needs to take it out. And of course, TLO has a ton of Speedlings on the map though. It's going to come down to Micro. And here we go. TLO gets gonna be coming for the main no he's not going for the main gonna go and try to flank the colossus from the back the, the colossus doing so much damage but it is gonna get surrounded by the speedlings colossus trying to get out of the way but the colossus goes down to the little buggers on the ground and right now the front door is exposed i believe oh my god that's so many speedlings but they are being blocked off by the pylon uh oh this pylon is getting close to getting taken out the shields are down the shields are down and the the health is starting to go down but the the second colossus comes out just in the nick of time to ward away those speedlings that could have been a very short game indeed but tlo here or excuse me white right here has been saved by timings twice now once with that zealot to block the six links and the second one with that colossus but he's still very far behind after losing the first colossus in that engagement to those great zergling surrounds we also have a spire on the way for the zerg player so tlo could be getting some mutilists to deal with these colossus or possibly corruptors We'll see. But uh, Tilo has morphed in an Overseer here. And I think this is great play right here. There is uh, Extended Thermal Lance, by the way. But I like the Overseer because he's going to see the base. And I think Tilo is going to try to contaminate that Robotics Bay. Or, excuse me, the Robotics Facility. So that delays the Colossus by 30 seconds. And that is absolutely huge. You do need 75 energy to contaminate. And so um, the Overseer just accumulating energy right now. We'll see if TLO tries to contaminate that robotics bay. And here we go. The Overseer coming back in for another pass. Is he going to spit the acid on the robotics? It does go down on the robotics facility. The Colossus delayed by 30 seconds. That is huge. And right now we have Speedlings and Mutas in the air uh, and on the ground, of course. <laughs> and um, is TLO going to get a surround on these Colossus? There are two. So that's a very, very strong number. And here we go. The Speedlings going to get underneath the colossus first and then start attacking and i think oh my goodness white are gonna lose both of his colossuses almost instantly to the speedlings white rat did not have enough zealots on the ground and that was his fault right there if you're gonna go colossus you need zealots on the ground to protect them from speedlings and white rat quickly ggs out so the current score is 3-1 
um, in favor of TLO. If TLO should win one more game, then he is going to be the winner of this Gentleman's Showmatch series. And so hopefully you guys enjoyed that broadcast. Make sure to subscribe if you guys like what you see, and stay tuned for more.